What's the reason that oil's up once again this morning, above $85 a barrel now? Well, I mean, thanks, Becky. Um, I mean, I think the the really immediate term is just the fact that we're seeing a continuation of this trend, which is, you know, the market was set up to think that um, a lot of the, the COVID impacts in, in terms of Omicron coming out of Thanksgiving would be more significant than they were. Um, they clearly haven't been, um, and demand has continued to tick along. And we've continued to have a number of outages globally um, that have been surprise kind of one-off events. But uh, generally, those those outages have tightened markets more significantly than people thought. Um, hence, the price move. There's also been, you know, obviously you can see in the tape uh, an uptick of some geopolitical risk overnight. So I think those are all the drivers, at least, of what's driving the absolute uh, near term. So how high do you think oil goes? Well, I mean, it's a bit of a it's an interesting setup, right? Because as I just mentioned, you know, we were most people that observe this market were expecting loosening balances for the first part of this year and OPEC to continue to bring back barrels. Now it looks like OPEC will bring back barrels, but markets on a full year basis look very tight and spare capacity is dropping. So, you know, the market is is very anticipatory here. It's looking forward to the second half of the year where balances start to 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 um, to really tighten up. Um, you know, triple digits is not out of the question by any means for periods of time. Um, you know, we still think this market can find balance, you know, in the in the $70 Brent range, um, you know, over time. And I think as equity investors, that's what we focus on a little bit more than the, kind of the spot. But, you know, certainly this has been a, you know, one side surprise year to date.